Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Here's Captain speaking. My name is Alessandra, and I'm going to be half of the Blue Flight Club, New Port, Lotte Merlin, Airbus 320 Flight 3242 to Berlinja. This flight took around 55 minutes. Weather from the gas, all the is good. A couple of weeks ago, DR Wakefield sent us a message. We are traveling to Brazil and we've got a spot for you as our media partners. Would you like to join us? So I said, yes, that would be great. I've never been to Brazil and I don't really know anything about Brazilian coffee. And so at the end of July 2017, I took my camera and got on a plane to Sao Paulo to cover the whole visit to Datera Coffee Farm. So it's AM in the morning and we arrived to Uberlandia yeah, Airport and we're taking Gwen to the coffee farm. <laughs> so here we are. Let's start by telling you about our guides. Will from DR Wakefield and Gabriel from Datera Coffee Farm. DR Wakefield is the UK representative um, for Datera and we work really closely with our roasters in, in the UK and parts of Europe uh, to connect them to Deterra here in Brazil um, so that we find the right coffee for the right roasters. Every year during the harvest season we host a lot of people from all over the world here in the farm. So this week for example we are hosting people from the UK. So on this trip specifically we brought some clients from Europe who in turn have brought some of their clients we're going to spend three days here uh, to, to learn all you need to know about coffee production. Terra is a family owned business. Uh, it started 33 years ago. When we started, we started with some fruits, pine trees, cattle, and finally, when we found coffee, we challenged ourselves to do coffee beans that go beyond the norm and not always taste what people think of when they think of Brazilian coffee. The Terra were uh, always pioneers of the coffee industry, especially here in, in Brazil. So they were the, one of the first estates in this region to grow coffee. Uh, they were voted last year the most sustainable farm in Brazil, um, not just in coffee, but like in any agricultural product. So it is officially the most sustainable farm uh, in this country. The Terra has 6,200 hectares of land. It sounds pretty big and it's quite big, but more than half of it is actually environmental preservation lands, uh, areas that we will, we will not touch. 2,800 is actually coffee planted areas. But what we do to keep the, the quality in this big farm, we slice the whole farm into mini farms. So each mini farm has from 5 to 15 hectares and we have all information about it. And every decision that is done for one mini farm is done individually. Good morning from Datera Coffee Farm. We're taking a van and going to the field. Yeah, right. is that right? Let's go. You see the other kind of irrigation, which is called pivo. Some of the farms have their cherries hand-picked. And these are pretty much just about to be harvested. And some other farms use big machines to harvest their coffee. Uh, the machines that we have here in the farm, they are projected not to harm the coffee trees. They build them pretty almost entirely from scratch. Their mechanics work on them to deliver the best quality. Doing that helps pick only the cherries that are really ready. The green cherries stay in the tree and later we come back here to pick them when they are ready. So that's the idea, not shaking too much to pick those green cherries. They need to stay here. So we come back and do a second or a third picking with the harvesting machines if we need to. So we gotta go. So this, this was harvesting of the coffee with a big machine and we continue. After seeing the harvesting, we are now headed to the coffee nursery where the tiny trees are cultivated. Here they grow little seedlings into big trees to plant them around the farm. There is 1.8 million seedlings in this little area, all been planted by hand. I'm guessing it's this, the Bourbon Amarillo which I imagine is a yellow ball. So once it's planted in the field, it will take anywhere between two to three years to produce coffee. 
and after that point it'll it'll grown to be about this sort of height before it then goes up to being like three meters or two meters tall. We visited some experimental fields on the farm where they cooperate with universities and scientists in order to challenge the land and learn more about the production. This is an experimental field where we are planting Lorena varietal, which is a naturally low caffeine varietal from the Riuna island, and also some geisha trees, which is not common at all in Brazil. Uh, we got the geisha seeds from a university in Brazil that they have a big genetics bank called Epamig, and we are testing those two varietals uh, with shade ground techniques. Here we have the first cherries of these geisha trees from this experimental field. Of course, that's very little amount of cherries because it, these trees are only one and a half years old. Uh, so, Brazil it has a little bit of an image problem. Uh, it's the world's largest producer of coffee. Um, so even today, it still produces like a third of all the coffee in the world. Um, and a lot of people in the world have just known it to be the commercial origin. Um, but recently, over the last 10, 20 years, a lot of effort and energy has gone in to a number of farms and Terra is leading the way, but there are others in the country as well who are putting a lot more focus on quality rather than quantity. Of all Datera coffees, the Datera Classics make up 75% of the whole production. These are coffees with the classic Brazilian characteristics. Notes of nuts, chocolate and some sweetness, consistently scoring between 80 to 86 points. Datera Collection coffees make up 25% of the production. These are coffees that score 86 to 89, are fully traceable and usually used as single origins. The experimental 1% are called masterpieces by Datura. We have this experimental unit here in the farm that we call the masterpieces unit, where we have all the possibilities, different kinds of popers that use lots of water, no water, little water, uh, all the kinds of drying techniques from raised beds with shade, with raised beds full sun, patio, drum dryers with that with gas adjustment for temperature. So the idea is having all these techniques and these possibilities to combine them and try to create new flavors. And we have been very successful uh, in some of our micro lots creating these very different flavors that most of the times people cup and say, okay, this is not what I expect from Brazil. We are at uh, Deterra's experimental processing facility. So this is where all their micro lots and their crazy experiments that they produce every year get processed. We were thrilled to cup the potential masterpieces. Those coffees were some of the best ones we have ever tasted. Completely different from the usual Brazilian coffees. Uh, any general comments? Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't rehearse that. So we just finished the cupping from the project Masterpieces and it was mind-blowing. Really the best cupping I've ever had. The field people in the farm, everyone's so passionate about this. And then when we were able to present a table like that, and I feel like we are giving baby steps in changing how the world perceives Brazil. Mm -hmm, for sure. And for us as coffee geeks and as the Terra employees, it's just mm -hmm. mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> everyone gets to participate in this process. Of course. Mm -hmm. We want everyone's roots to be forever in the farm for the future generations. To say our last goodbye, we planted a tree that will grow on the farm with our name yes, at its school. Well yeah. So we plant the tree, now we are moving again and there will be second surprise which we have no idea. Let's go. On we go. Okay guys, this is our last <laughs> bridge for you. This is our oh, last night. I will marry you. <laughs> Before leaving the farm, we gathered around a dinner table to share the last cup of coffee together. The whole trip was mind-blowing. We learned so much about the coffee culture in Brazil. 
the farming processes at Datura and its investment in innovations. We have to say thank you for coming and spending time with us. So pretty much we watched the sunset in this magic place, enjoying some coffee and we toast for this moment. Thank and you. likewise, thank you for taking all your time out to look after us so well. It's been fantastic. Guys, it's been amazing. Thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. 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 And as Will said, there are yet many prejudices to what the quality of Brazilian coffees can be. To everyone who has doubts about Brazilian coffee, I'd like to say that you haven't tried the coffees from this farm. Thank you, Datera, for this incredible experience.